pretty near 90% of our crop got wiped out. We lost a lot of our cherries and a lot of our apples, and uh, it made for a very <laughs> interesting year. 2012 presented some distinct challenges for the apple growers here in the state. It was warmer earlier than it had been in decades. And we had a frost event at one of those early time periods when the trees were already blooming, right? So we lost our crop. As a result of the loss of the crop in 2012, we had an excess of carbohydrate stored in the plants. All of that carbohydrate, all of that photosynthate that the plants were fixing uh, went to the roots, were stored in the roots and the rest of the plant material. The trees were just so well rested last year that they have all this energy and it made for such a beautiful crop this year, such a large crop. And I picked probably more apples off from this tree here this year than I did out of this whole orchard last year. One of the exciting things that's going to go on this fall with such a large crop is trying to move this into the marketplace, trying to sell all of these apples. One of our key things that we can do to market this is we have a long window that we can store apples. We take these fruit that have been cared for, for throughout the season and by reducing the temperature we suppress other metabolic activities associated with ripening. So that's the first step. The next technology that we impose is controlled atmosphere storage. The lowering of the oxygen concentration and elevation of the carbon dioxide level in the storage environment. We put it to rest, so to speak, for uh, an extended period of time. With this controlled atmosphere, lowering the temperature down to 34 degrees, we can store apples out nine months or longer. The work that we do here in the laboratory at this time of year really focuses on maturity analysis for our apple industry. So what we do is we bring the fruit in from the field, from orchards around the state, and we analyze the internal ethylene levels, we determine the firmness of the fruit, the red coloration, we track those over weeks. And what we do is try to determine what the optimal time is for those fruit to be harvested and then to be put into storage. We're able to kind of direct some of the industry to a proper harvest time period or at least allow them to look at what they're doing and check it against us and make sure that uh, they agree. This year in the state of Michigan, we could pick as many as 30 million bushels of apples. Last year we only picked 2.7 million bushels. That's quite a difference and we're really excited about it.